have with us tonight a member of the Philippine Super League champion team, the Petron Blaze Spikers, Erika Adachi. Welcome to Sports and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. Of course. We, we always have we champions. We always have champions. <laughs> we always have champions. We love champions on the show. Okay, before coming uh, to the Philippines, um, you you were given a call and you were given a message. That, okay, uh, there's a chance to play volleyball in the Philippines. What was your initial reaction? Uh, first of all, I went to YouTube to watch the game to see like the level of the players. So, uh, like I wanted to come and like experience like the like an Asian volleyball like school. So I wanted to come see see the Philippines and see like volleyball. And I heard about the fans, so I was like really excited to come here. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that you wanted to see the level of volleyball out here because volleyball is huge in Brazil. Yeah. And here in the Philippines, it's still a growing sport. So, we're babies. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, so when you were watching those videos on YouTube, you, what was your initial um, assessment of Philippine volleyball? It was like, it's different from Brazil. First of all, First of all, it's like uh, Brazilian players, they're like really tall. And yeah, we're not tall. Yeah, and I, I'm like a, one of like the shortest ones like in Brazil. So, uh, like I was watching, but I saw like the like the playing like game. It was like kind of like the same. It's not like Japan is like really fast and like a lot of like different plays happening like at the same time. It's more like a Brazilian style, American style, but with like short, shorter players. <laughs> I love the honesty. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but it's true. It is true. That's it's why. It's why. I, I, we are not ashamed. <laughs> it's not. It's not like a, a problem. It's just like part of like the yeah. the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, when you when you got here uh, and Patron, right away, right almost instantly, you guys were just absolutely clicking on all cylinders, especially in the first round of the eliminations. Were you surprised at how good uh, Patron was? Uh, right away, right from the start of the season. Yeah, we have like uh, I think we have like a lot of like individuals, like good players, like Filipino players. And then during practice, we're like trying to get like the connection. So maybe like we got the connection like first. Yeah. Because like in the second round, it seems like got better. So like the connection of them like with the other players, I think we were more like solid. But I think we got the like that before. Like the tournament, like two weeks before. So. What did you guys do outside of the court that made you bond as a team? Uh, like, I was, I like, I used to say that, like, I tried to learn Tagalog to talk to the girls. I also like, I'm a bully, so I try like to play with them, so they <laughs> make like feel comfortable with me, not thinking that like I'm in court and like I'm from another country. So I tried to like. Uh, may, make them like think that like I'm just like a normal person and like I'm here to play with you so we're like the same so yeah. I think like they felt like comfortable okay now now in the you said in the, in the second round of eliminations teams started to catch up um, and, and in a in one of those matches you faced generica and in that particular match you guys were already seated number one no matter what happened win or lose you guys would have been number one heading into the playoffs at that point uh, they rested, and you guys rested. Um, you know some of the top players on, on the team. Was that a strategy? Did you guys talk about that beforehand, before uh, coming into the game? Okay, we'll, we'll warm up a little bit, but we won't play because the the playoffs was going to start just a couple of days after that. Yeah, we had like two like really hard two weeks, like because it was like the the most of, like we had like three games in one week for the finals and like three games like in the the week before the final so it was like a long like two weeks and that game because nothing was going to change so like the coaches said like okay we're going to rest you guys and let the like let the other the, 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 the filipinos play because we need them like too you know yeah. like we needed like the whole team for like the semi and like the finals so yeah. it was good for our team to make the girls like play and be prepared for like a little more confident yeah However, on the flip side, you're playing Generica, who swept the second round of eliminations. Was it a little bit of a risk in your assessment? Was it a little bit of a risk that it probably could have given them a little bit more momentum heading into the critical part of the season? Yeah, I, I wouldn't like to play them to see because 
Generica was the first team that we played in the season. Yeah. So, like, they grew up as a team. And, like, I wanted, like, to see them playing, like, inside of the court. But they rest, like, Natalia and Mio. So it wasn't going to be the same as, if, like, if we are going to, like, face them, like, in the final. So I was, like, a little bit more relieved that, like, they rest the girls. So, like, we kind of knew what we had to do because we watched them, like, playing. So. Was there a little bit of an intimidation factor in the sense that you were going to face a three-time <laughs> defending champs? Yeah, it was because our team's like really new. Like the girls are like young, and like we didn't have like much of experience of like championship, like the final in Generica. The girls like they were like always winning, so like they were like more mature for like final match. But we're like confident because we knew that like we had like a good team. But we are like a little like okay, uh, we don't have like much of pressure because. They were the one that like swept the second round. They were the one that has like experience in the final match. So we're we're like more like relaxed, like not like feeling the pressure. Okay. Now in in the uh, in the final, the championship, um, you guys it was pretty close first set, and in the second set it was pretty close also. There were some questionable calls somewhere there in the second set, and probably I think that the team wasn't too happy about. Uh, but after that, you guys completely dominated the rest of the way from, from the third and the fourth, which is not, not, not even a contest. What was the critical moment in the second set? What uh, was needed by Patron to be able to, I guess, you know, add an additional spark to go on the rest of the way? Okay, so in the first set, like we play like tied and like we played good. And in the second set, I told the girls that like we had a lot of like mistakes. So it was like, I think it was like 10, 8, and we gave them like six like errors. Like we gave them like six points. So we lost for ourselves. I know there's like another team there, and I always told them like it's more about us than the other team because volleyball is like a game of who does less mistakes. So I told the girls, okay, this game is about us. So if we don't give points to them, then we're like going to win. So I think like the girls, like the mindset was like, okay, not doing like, errors and like controlling the ball so and i told them like it's all about us like they're not doing anything different from the first set so i think that's what like changed their our mindset but, but after that third set though uh, did you already think to yourself this is our this is our championship already i mean mm. because that, that fourth set it was, it was it was no contest yeah like after the third set i told the girls like and like everybody's thinking about that but I, I told them like that's the momentum because we like we're like tied in the third set and then like we got like a huge advantage and i was like okay that's the time that we have to crush them yeah because like they love their momentum yeah. and they cannot believe that they're gonna like win and come back so we like uh we got that moment and like make it happen it was like a pretty awesome fourth set <laughs> yeah. and the championship happened yeah <laughs> the great thing is aside from the championship you also took home another award um were you expecting to get this award? You won the Best Setter Award. Were, um, among your teammates, did you think that you would be the one coming home with this? Uh, like, I never, like, think about, like, the individual, like, uh, award. Because volleyball is a team sport. So, like, it was, like, it was for me, but it was also for the team. If I didn't have, like, Jen Reyes, like, passing the ball, and I didn't have Elena, Dindin, Mina, Sez, Micah, I like I would never like get the point like get the award because they were the ones that like scored the points. Yeah. So it was it's more like a okay it's your award but like.